Hi, everybody. I'm Mickey Gousset, and I want to thank you for taking the time to go on this journey into GitHub Project Boards. GitHub Project Boards are a great way to organize and prioritize the work you need to do on your project. In addition to issues and pull requests, you can add note cards to your boards, which you can use as task reminders or to add information related to the project board. Let's get started. This video is about working with notes on GitHub project boards. Notes are cards you can add to your board to track information related to the project board. For example, they could be a task list, an informational message, or even a link to a pull request, an issue, or another project board. If you find that a note isn't sufficient for your needs, you can convert it to an issue. When you convert a note to an issue, an issue is automatically created using the content from the note. The first line of the note will be the issue title and any additional content from the note will be added to the issue description. Let's look at a demo using notes. In this demo, I'm going to use the user project board and repository I created earlier in this series. I'm going to add a note to the board and move it through the board's process. I'm then going to add a note to the board and convert it to an issue. And finally, we'll see what happens when I add a URL link to a note related to an issue. Here I am on my profile page at github.com. If I select your projects, I can see the user-owned board that I created in an earlier video. So I'm going to select that board and work with it. To add a new note to my board, I can simply click the plus sign in any column and it, it gives me the option of entering a note. So I'll call this my first note. And then I'll say this is my first note on my board and I'll click Add. You can see the interface stays open where I could add multiple notes. I can click Cancel to close it. And I can tell this is a note versus an issue or a pull request based off of the icon, the little note card icon. And unlike an issue or a pull request though, clicking it doesn't open up anything on the right hand side. If I want to edit the note, I simply click the ellipse and say Edit Note and it opens up this interface where I can then add whatever information I wanted to add to this note. The interface does support the GitHub markup language. So let's say I wanted to make this a task list. I could put a dash, a space, open bracket, space, close bracket, and then a name, my first task. And then I could even just paste that. We'll call this my second task. And we'll call this my third task. And we're going to say the third task is already done. So what we'll do is we'll put a little X in there. And I'll save my note. Now you can see my note has changed. It's become a task list with the third task already checked. Now this card is just like any other card. I can drag it, and drop, drag it and drop it through my process. If I complete a particular task, I can even just check the task and it changes the task for me. Now, let's say I want to take this issue and actually add a link from this issue to the note. So first thing I'll do is go to the issue and this gives me the URL for this particular issue. And if I copy that and I go back to my note and I say edit this note and I just put the URL in there 
and save the note. GitHub is smart enough to realize that this URL ties back to an issue and actually shows me a card for that issue. So I have the ability to link issues into my notes. Where this could be helpful is if you want to add an issue or a pull request onto a project board where the repo that that issue or pull request is in isn't linked to that board, you could do it this way to be able to, to, be able to get a link to that issue or pull request and display it as a card in the board. Let's create another card. We'll call this my second issue. We'll just click add. And let's come into this card and let's make a couple of note changes to it. So we'll say my description. We'll add one task. And we'll even add an at reference to myself. So now that I have a card, I can take this card and let's say it just, I wanted to make this an issue so people could comment on it and, and, and provide feedback. To convert it to an issue, I can simply take this card and say convert to issue. It has me choose a repository to put that issue in and you'll notice that it takes the first line of the issue, makes it the title, takes the rest of it and puts it into the body of the issue. And I can say convert to issue. You'll notice that the icon has changed. The icon has changed to the issue icon. If I select it, it actually opens up as an issue. I can see that I could even, you know, modify my task list from here if I want to, or I could go to the issue for full details. And here's my issue. Again, a lot of times you may start off using notes on your boards and as you find you need the more functionality that issues provide to allow commenting things like that then you can easily turn that note into an issue and still then use the issue card on your board just like you were using the note card on your board. I hope you have enjoyed this video on working with cards on your GitHub project boards. This wraps up my series on GitHub Project Boards. Have questions or comments? Want to see something I didn't cover? Leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more DevOps goodness. Thanks for watching.